Hey y'all, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this really pretty cross wall hanging using ceramic coasters from Dollar Tree. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to make it. All right, my friends, let us get started. So first off, you are going to need some of these ceramic tile coasters. These came from Dollar Tree. I like these because they are to be used as coasters and they have a cork backing, which is going to help us to adhere them to our piece of cardboard that I have laying over here. You can get different kinds of tiles at places like Home Depot, Lowe's, you know, anywhere. But I like these, like I said, because the backs are finished. So anyway, you buy them individually, which makes them a dollar each. I got five of this design, and then I got one that looks like this that's going to go in the center. I like this. Do all things with love. This is gray. Well, it looks gray to me, <laughs> and it matches these. And then we have like these little whitish looking roses up here against the wood grain. And now you're going to need something for a backing. I'm just going to be using a piece of cardboard. So you're going to need these. You're going to need a piece of cardboard. You're going to need a hot glue gun and glue sticks and some other adhesive if you want a little bit of extra grip like E6000 or Gorilla Glue. So what I'm going to be doing is, getting these out of the way, I'm going to lay down the cardboard. I have so many crafts going on on this table right now. This is a very, very busy time of year for me. I'm going to just lay these down into the shape of our cross. Everything does not have to be perfect right now because I'm not gluing them down right now. I just want to kind of sort of get these into position and I have uh, other tile down here at the bottom. This is a very tall project and I know it's going to be difficult to see the entire thing on camera. Okay, so I just have it all laid down on my piece of cardboard. And now I'm going to take my handy dandy little sparkly feather pen here and I'm just going to trace around it because it is going to be easier if we trace this out and cut it out a lot easier than if you glue it down and then try to trim around it, which you can if you want to, you know, if you have an X-Acto knife and all that jazz. But I'm just drawing all the way around our cross. I had seen a cross like this similar and I can't remember where I saw it. Um, was it Kirkland's? I can't remember. I don't think it was Kirkland's. There was some store like that, and I thought, oh, that's cute. Let's make a Dollar Tree version instead of spending $45 on it. So I now have my design traced out. Hold on, let me set these over here. I have it traced out on my piece of cardboard. So now I am going to cut this out I'm going to pause the video while I do that, and then we'll come back and we will assemble it. Okay, my friends, so I have my cross cut out, and where I had drew the lines, I cut just a little bit inwards of those, okay? So that if you see here, let's flip it over. See, the cardboard is just a little bit smaller than the, um, than the coaster, and I did that for a reason. So, like, if you look at it from the side... Or if you, if you don't cut the cross like perfectly straight so that you don't risk some of the cardboard sticking out. And also because you see how the cork is sticking up a little bit. That's really the part that you're going to be, you know, putting the glue or the adhesive, you know, and sticking it down. So anyway, now we need to, before we put it all together, we need to figure out a way to hang it. And I'm going to use some of this very, very thin twine okay this comes from the dollar tree and i'm just going to cut a length here and then we're going to get it out of the way and then what i'm going to do let's see which side okay i'm going to glue them to this side so just up here near the top somewhere i am going to stab it stab it stab it just like so we're going to make a hole Okay, now we're going to take our twine here, just fold it in half and make a loop. Now I'm gonna take that loop and stick it through the hole. And that is gonna show up in the back and that's what I'm gonna use for my hanger, okay? That's what we're gonna use for the hanger. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take these pieces. Why are you twisted up? 
twisted twine. I'll show you what I'm gonna do with it here in a minute. Just make sure that we have a good amount of a loop back there. Now, my home, it does not get really, really hot in here. But like I said earlier, if you're gonna be, I have got paint all over my hand. If you're gonna be using this in a place where it is gonna be humid or where it is going to be very hot, um, then I suggest, like I said, using the E6000 and the Gorilla Glue. So what you would do is just put you a few dots of that adhesive around and then work your hot glue around it, okay? Now for the backing, I meant to say this earlier, you could also use some of that foam board from Dollar Tree, but I didn't use that for a reason because using the hot glue gun, it can melt that styrofoam that is in between the pieces of paper on that foam board. And also when you use other adhesive like the E6000, it can, I've had this happen in the past, it can seep through that paper and it will eat away at the foam, okay? Which is why I'm using a piece of cardboard. Make sure I have my loop back here. So I'm gonna be using this one for the very tippy top. And I'm just going to put me a good amount of hot glue on here. And I'm not going to put it there in the very center because I don't want it to ooze through the hole that I made for our hanger. Okay, so now let's just stick that down there. I want to keep this here. I want to keep it spread out so that the weight, when you do hang it up, the weight is evenly distributed, okay? This is going to make sense here in a minute. <laughs> so just hot glue that down. Okay, now I want these to start going out this way. Like I said, I want the weight evenly distributed. Don't bring it straight down because then it can, you know, has a greater chance of pulling out. So that's why I'm putting it that way. So now this one is going to be for the center. And now I'm going to put the glue all over it. Because we don't have a hole there. We don't have to avoid it. Oh, Lord. Okay. So let's make sure that you get it straight. It's got a little spot right there. I don't know if, what that came from. Like I said, I have several different things going here. I may have gotten a little bit of paint on it, but that's okay. I'll wipe it off here in a minute. Alrighty. So now I'm just going to bring this out this way. And we're going to glue another tile here. And I need another glue stick here shortly. Actually, I need a new glue stick now. All right, let's try to get that into place and really press it down because you know you have your little piece of twine underneath there. So you're gonna have to really press it down to make sure you know your hot glue really hits the backing. All right, so let me pause here and I'm going to, cause I think I have them put away, I do. I actually put my glue sticks back where they belong. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab another glue stick. Okay, yeah, that was just a little spot of paint right there. So I just cleaned that away with a little bit of rubbing alcohol so my coaster wouldn't sit there and look wet the whole time the alcohol evaporates rather quickly. All right, so now we have the next one. Like I said, be sure that we have our little twine coming out this way. I'm gonna trim this off here in a little bit. I got this turned so that maybe y'all can see it a little bit better. Just really, really press that down. All right, so now we have these two left. And now these are going to come down here at the bottom. And I want to place them maybe so that this design can try to line up somewhat. If you get them with the designs on them like this, just be careful. I think that looks okay because they don't really line up 100% on all sides, okay? That's why I'm going to mention that. Okay. Stick that down. I think that looks okay. It's kind of hard to see. I'm at an angle here. All right, let's make double sure that that's still... Yeah, that looks good. And then we'll put this on there, and that is done. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get... There we go. Now, that looks okay like this, but I want to put a little bit of that rope around the edge. I think that's going to set it off. So let me get some of that. And I'll be right back. Okie dokie. So I trimmed off the little pieces over here and I think all this glue has set up enough where I can move it around safely without it all falling apart. So now what I have is some of this cording 
And I know it looks just fine the way it is right now, but you know, a lot of things in my home that I make have this on it and I like for everything to sort of tie together, okay? So I'm just gonna go around the edge with some hot glue and with this. My throat's bothering me and I have a cough drop in my mouth, which is why I keep making a noise before anybody asks, why are you making such a noise? Because I'm trying to not cough in your face, that's why. <laughs> Yes, I know I'm not there face to face with you, but I still think coughing your head off on camera is kind of rude and I try to avoid it. But anyway, there we go. And I think that's really gonna bring everything together. So it doesn't look like that you do in fact just have a bunch of tiles stuck up on your wall. All right, so I'm just gently kind of pressing this down. I'm trying to keep it more towards the front of the project than letting it fall towards the back. But anyway, I'm just going to go all the way around this whole piece with this rope. And then when I come back and I have it all trimmed up, then we can see what the finished thing looks like. All right, my babies, it is done. It's done. So like I said, I didn't use very, very thick rope or twine. It's just to give it a little extra something, something around the edge. And it is finished. It's finished. So let's flip it over. And this is the back and this is the hanger. And I know somebody out there is gonna say, well, that's awfully thin to hang such a heavy thing. This twine is unbelievably durable. It really is. It is unbelievably durable. So, you know, it will hold a lot of weight. So now I'm just going to go put a hanger in the wall and hang it up. Anyway, that's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun making it. If you would give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe, check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below, and I hope to see y'all next time.